Does it feel like even though you look out for all the clues if he's a player, you always end up being tricked into giving yourself to the wrong guy? I'm here to share with you one of the easiest tricks men use to get sex from you. It's the concept of love at first sight. And you may not have realized how this concept has been sabotaging your dating life. So I'm going to break down five smaller concepts so you can understand the larger one. Number one, we have Disney princess syndrome so let me break down disney princess syndrome to you in a story out when you were a young girl you'd be sitting in front of the tv on your saturday afternoons watching the disney channel or maybe you watch nickelodeon whatever you watch as you're watching those movies you're obviously going to be drawn to the disney princess movies because why you're a girl and you want to feel like a princess as well so you're watching those disney princess movies on the screen and obviously you're a child so you don't realize that there's writers and a whole team behind the people who are making that it just feels like you're watching a fantasy and when you're watching this fantasy you don't realize you're being programmed to think and feel a certain way so as you're watching that disney princess movie you're absorbing that and you don't realize it but you're actually watching very similar themes throughout all of the different Disney princess movies that you watch. And obviously you're too young and innocent to really understand what those themes are and concepts are and what they really mean and all the hidden meanings behind everything. You're just absorbing that information and consuming that content. What's actually going on underneath the hood when you're watching those Disney princess movies, you're consistently watching this concept in which this damsel in distress, this woman has a problem whatever her problem may be she's over here and she's the most fairest beautiful girl in the land and then all of a sudden you know this problem that she's having this beautiful amazing prince swoops down from the heavens and comes and saves her life makes her feel better makes her uh life better makes her everything better he swoops her up and he takes her on his white horse to a land far far away and they live happily ever after okay that's what you're watching and obviously as a child you don't realize how it's affecting you but it's affecting you so you're probably like what does a disney princess movie have anything to do with my relationships as a child when you're absorbing that you're not just watching it on a screen and being like oh well this looks cool this looks interesting this looks fun and then moving on with your day. You're watching it and putting yourself in the position of the princess. You're consuming it and you're saying to yourself, I'm the princess. I'm going to live my life like that. I'm going to find my prince charming and my prince charming is going to come into my life and sweep me off my feet and be amazing and make me feel amazing and take me to a land far, far away. Now you expect the men that you meet to resemble Prince Charming, because if you're going to be a Disney princess and this is going to be your Disney princess movie, well, then the guys in your life have to represent Prince Charming and he's got to make you feel He's got to look like he's got to treat you just like Prince Charming did in your favorite Disney princess movie. Remember, we always talk about spirituality and what your mind is focused on. That's what you see. You go out and you begin trying to force all of the guys you're dating to resemble to you this Prince Charming. And you begin believing that every guy you meet that does one single nice thing for you or says something, uh, gives you a nice compliment or says that he likes you is your Prince Charming that's here to save you from the tallest tower in the tallest building. But the problem is not every guy is there for that is what men want. It's very important that we understand what men want, because if we don't, then we're not going to have an understanding of why this is going on. This is where I come in. I don't grow up necessarily watching Disney princess movies. Most of us guys don't. Some guys, maybe, maybe they play with Barbies as well. That's perfectly fine. But we end up growing up into young boys and teenage boys who like girls. We want girls. We desire girls. We want access to girls. Below the waist is getting a lot more blood flow. 
And for some guys, it's growing. For some guys, it still stays small. Since our interest is in the girls and the women, we have to figure out as men how we can get access to those women. And remember what I always tell you guys, us as human beings, not just men, but us as human beings are always looking to get to a destination as quickly and as easily and as painless as possible. So if there is resistance required, some of us are willing to deal with that resistance. Some of us are not. But for the most part, we're all trying to find the quickest, easy and painless route to whatever it is that we want. Now, there's nothing particularly wrong with that, but you also have to transfer that to men's desire for women. They are also looking for the path of least resistance. So if men want access to you specifically, if they want access to your squirtle, they're going to seek the path of least resistance. This is where your Disney princess movie comes in. Because as men grow up, even if they're not watching the Disney princess movie, they begin to grow an understanding that you want to be the Disney princess. You want to be treated like the Disney princess. And through trial and error, these men understand that if they make you feel like you are the Disney princess, they can get what they want. I say that to say, the men will conform to whatever standard is expected of them that will give them the path to squirtle with as little resistance as possible. So if they're going to conform to whatever uh, standards is expected of them to get what they want, they're going to seek, okay, how can I do that as efficiently and as quickly as possible? This is all happening on a subconscious level. The men aren't sitting down with their notebooks writing this out. And so they know if they approach you in a way that makes you feel like a Disney princess, what does that do? That gives them the path, the easiest path to squirtle, the easiest path to access to you that they can possibly get. Now we are getting to the emotional advantage. Okay, this is where I really need you to pay attention. Let's say for your imagination, I'm going to paint a picture for you. Uh, you end up in a relationship with a guy. He figures out how to get you so hype about the fact that you are just like that. Sorry, that he is just like your Prince Charming that you've uh, been looking at on your Disney princess movies. He acts so sweet. He treats you so well. He embodies everything that you ever wanted in a man at the beginning. He pours it on super thick at the beginning. He understands that the more he can pile it on at the beginning, the less resistance he'll face to getting access to you. Why? Because he gets an emotional advantage over you. When you become so emotional about the situation, about the relationship that, oh my God, this is just like my Disney princess movie. Oh my God, I feel just like a princess. Oh my God, he's doing everything just like I imagined it would be like in my fantasies. Your emotions begin to cloud your judgment and your ability to actually decipher, okay, are you being genuine or not? Are you doing things that are over the top because you want something or not? Is there an ulterior motive at play or not. That emotional advantage they can have over you makes it easy for them to get what they want because when you're so emotional about the situation, what happens to your guard? Your guard goes down because how can you be paying attention to if he's genuine or if he's here for the right reasons when all you can think about is the fact that this is just like your Disney princess movie. The fact that you can think about, oh my God, he treats you just like you imagined a Prince Charming would treat you. How can you possibly be logical and detailed enough to be thinking about Oh, but Thomason said I should be asking this question and he said I should pay attention to this and he said I should do this and then so I'm going to make sure on this date I'm 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 trying to figure out okay what's his past relationships like what's his relationship with this ex what where does he stand now with this ex how does he feel about her you know what does he expect in a relationship you're not going to be thinking about analyzing all of those things you're not even going to be thinking about how to enchant him so you can get out of him all the information that you possibly can I possibly need to make a good decision. All you're going to be thinking about is the fact that you're enchanted by him and you're cast by his spell 
and you're not able to think straight or logically about what the best course of action is. I'm sure you're probably wondering, how does any of this relate to love at first sight? Because I mentioned love at first sight at the very beginning. When he begins to use that emotional advantage on you, they're doing the same thing when they're trying to convince you of the idea that this is love at first sight, okay? This is where everything comes together. This is why I had to explain to you the Disney princess syndrome. This is why I had to explain to you what men want, and I had to explain to you the uh, emotional advantage. Love at first sight is only a concept that they use alongside with everything that we just discussed that they can get you emotional about a situation they can utilize the fact that you want to be a Disney princess, that they can convince you this is your moment, this is your story, just like you've watched in the movies to get what they want from you. I just saw you from across the room and I could feel, I just had this wash of emotion come over me and it just, it took me to a place that I've never been before and I could just feel myself just falling deeper and deeper and deeper in love with you until I finally spoke to you for the first time and I realized that you've been missing from my life this entire time and I realized that my whole life has been a lie until I met you and when I met you it was like my whole life became whole and everything became amazing and I started to see color the moment that you touched my skin that sounds just like your disney princess movie that sounds and as you get older it sounds just like your whatpad story it sounds just like your uh favorite teen drama because they're all related right they're all stemming from the same themes no matter how much older you get you just transition from your disney princess movie to what listening to a whatpad story to reading a smut book to watching 365 days on Netflix. And so when the guy comes along and he's like, but this is your love at first sight moment. This is your, I'm your Prince Charming. I'm here to sweep you off your feet. I, I just laid my eyes on you and I realized how amazing you are. What happens to you? You become emotional about the situation that you then feel like, oh my God, it's true. It's just like I read in the Wattpad story. It's just like I read in the Smut book. It's just like I watched in the Disney princess movie. Oh my God, this is exactly it. What he actually saw was the fact that you were wearing the tightest pants you own and your huge dump truck was walking around the party in mesmerizing fashion. That's what he was actually seeing. And what he actually felt was not a chemical reaction or a wash of emotion. What he felt was the blood rushing to his lower extremities. But majority of those men are either confused or they know that it's not that, but they also know what they want. So what do they do? They're not going to tell you, hey, I saw you from across the room and I got a rush of blood flow to my lower extremities. That's not what he's going to come up to you and say. He's going to come up to you and tell you how it was love at first sight that you can feel like a Disney princess. Number four, we have role play. When that man that you're seeing who's convinced you that this is love at first sight has figured out that the more he comes across as Prince Charming, the easier it is to get more and more access to you because you let your guard down. He pours it on thicker and thicker because he's trying to play and embody that role. So as it relates to love at first sight, what's he going to be doing? He's going to actually, this is the crazy part. He's going to actually present himself as if he's been so enchanted by you. This is where it gets, we're going to get deep, okay? He's going to present himself as if he has been taken aback by your beauty, your amazingness, your awesomeness, how much you consume his thoughts and his brain space and the time space continuum. You're just going to seem and feel like you're the most amazing thing since sliced bread because he's playing a role. If he's going to play the role of love at first sight, then what is, what has to happen? He has to be enchanted by you at the very beginning. And it's got to be, it can't be normal enchantment. It can't feel like, oh, this isn't that intense as, you know, as it would seem like if you were with love at first sight. It's got to feel strong. 
It's got to feel intense. It's got to feel super passionate. Here's the problem, though. That's not actually coming from a real or genuine place because it's not real. He's faking a lot of that passion and intensity and laying it on thick at the beginning that you can feel like a Disney princess, that you can become emotional about the situation and forget that it doesn't really make sense that he would feel that strongly about you when he doesn't really even know you. Imagine you were on the street and a guy comes up to you and he says, oh my God, I can't believe it. You're like, what? I don't understand. What are you talking about? You can't believe it. I cannot believe how absolutely stunning your feet are. Your feet are just oh, chef's kiss. Your feet and your toes, they're so suckable. They're so amazing. They're so luscious and beautiful. I would, I would literally, if, if you could just walk on my tongue, I would allow you to, to walk on my tongue. That's how amazing your feet look and how awesome your toes are. And then you look at him confused and he's like, what? I just think your feet are awesome. Is that weird? And you're like, hmm, um, it's only weird because I'm actually wearing shoes and you can't see my toes or my feet. So explain to me how you can possibly go into detail about how amazing and awesome my feet are and how suckable my toes are if you can't even see my feet. How does that work? They're playing a role that you will forget how stupid it sounds that he would magically be so enchanted by you that he would know that he wants to make you the mother of his children and he wants you to have all his kids forevermore and he wants to put a ring on you as soon as he met you or laid his eyes on you. You'll forget how silly that sounds and you'll just be thinking about how amazing it feels to be so loved and cared for and validated and paid attention to by a random guy. That is what playing their role consists of. And number five, we have extraction. Once he has played his role and gotten you emotional about the situation, let's imagine you're talking to a guy, right? And in the process, it's like three, four months now. He's been talking to you. He's been laying it on thick. He's been telling you how oh, this is love at first sight. I can't believe it. When I met you, it was just so amazing and it was just so awesome. And I, and I just couldn't believe myself. And I was just all over myself, falling all over myself when I seen how amazing you are. And I seen, and I could just sense your personality and sense the fact that you're a wife, even though it's really about your dumb truck. I could just feel like you, we were just meant to be. Now it's extracting time because you've let your guard down because now you feel like you can trust him because he's just like the guy you were imagining or fantasizing about. He's, the love at first sight only makes sense if this is really your Disney princess movie. This is really your Wattpad story. And you give him what he was trying to extract and he extracts it. Now you've given it to him. Big mistake. Big mistake. This is where everything falls apart. Literally, in the same moment after he finishes extracting, the same wash of emotion that he said came over him when he met you or saw you or laid his eyes on you because it was love at first sight. That same wash of emotion literally washes back over him and he comes back to his senses and realizes that he no longer has to play a role anymore. Why? Because he extracted exactly what he wanted to extract from you. He was only playing that role as the Prince Charming in your Disney Princess movie because he knew that's what you wanted. And you were so busy focusing your time and attention on this being your Disney Princess moment that you didn't realize he was just putting on an act for you up until he extracted what he wanted from you. If I want to steal something from a store, I don't make it obvious that I'm stealing something from a store. If I actually want to be a good thief, I actually spend a lot of time thinking about what are the most mundane and regular things that will make it look like I'm not stealing, <laughs> okay? If I actually wanted to steal something well and not get caught, I actually have to play the role exactly to a T of someone who is not stealing. That's the best way for me to steal. If I go in there blazing and I just ramsack everything and, 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 and just hope for the best, I'm going to get caught. It's obvious that I'm trying to steal. People might try to stop me. People, you know, there might be a good Samaritan that gets in my way. You never know what could happen when people are confronted with the fact that you're trying to steal from them. 